super hot, super hot, super hot. Here's a game I've been fascinated with ever since I first heard about it a couple of years ago. The core concept of a first person shooter where time only moves as you move popped up as an idea for a 7 day game jam game. After which the developers put it online and it took the internet by storm, and it finally saw a release at the end of February. So how does it hold up? Well to start off with the game plays magnificently. As I said already, time only moves when you move, so you have to dodge your opponent's bullets whilst trying to hit them with yours, and one hit on anyone kills. This lends the game a puzzle FPS like feel, not dissimilar to Hotline Miami where you have to meticulously plan each movement in a particular area in order to eliminate your foes while staying alive. As far as story goes for the game, there's a short two hour campaign which I'll do my best to describe spoiler free. You're playing a game your friend sent you called Superhot.exe. And that's about all I can say without spoilers. It's the kind of story that's best experienced on your own, and not to mention there's definitely some elements that I'm not even entirely sure I fully understand. There's some better commentary on gaming today which isn't uncommon in indie titles at the moment, but beyond that it doesn't really matter. The story's threadbare and half the time it's delivered in blink quick flash screens. It's not what we're here for. 99% of your time in game you're going to be seeing a white environment and fighting red polygonal wireframes with any interactable elements in dark blue or black which makes planning out your advance as straightforward as possible. There's a handful of weapons available and each has its own pluses and minuses. There's your standard handgun which will shoot 5 shots, there's the shotgun which has a limited amount of ammunition but each shot is a cluster of bullets meaning you're less likely to miss at short and medium range, and the assault rifle which can shoot a burst in a very short amount of time meaning you can have multiple leading shots on a moving target, or even hit multiple targets in one burst. Even the melee weapons are useful, the katana especially. The developers and their insane attention to detail in the gameplay department give you all the tools to be an action hero badass. For example, each firearm has a time between shots to chamber up, so if you miss a shot, it's often quicker to throw your gun at an enemy to disarm him, grab his weapon and shoot him, than it is to move and wait for your gun to be ready to fire the next shot. Once you successfully complete a round, you get a full speed replay of what you actually would have looked like if you weren't in bullet time, and you can cut these together and upload them. Watching yourself cut bullets out of the air in full motion never gets old. The minimal amount of textures possibly hides the amount of attention to detail that has been made to fill out each area with objects and make the area feel lived in. The menus are also worth noting, instantly turning your computer into something that you might have been using in the 80s, complete with chundering sounds. ASCII minigames, and even a simulated chat room. Whilst being fun in their own light, it also gives context to the main game's art style and- So, this all must be rosy, right? Full on recommendation if it's so good. Well, uh, it's asking price on Steam currently is £17.99, which, considering its short, short campaign, could be cause for concern for some people. Obviously if you enjoy the gameplay then the endless and challenge modes will probably entertain you long after the story mode is over, but with the variety of difference that each challenge offers it's probably a shame that each are locked in succession. It could easily feel repetitive enough to discourage people playing them through considering it's always the same series of maps used for each challenge. Possibly a safe bet would be to download the free demo from their website which I'll link in the description of this video. If you enjoy that and the possibilities it presents, then you might even think that Superhot is the most innovative shooter in years. I guess you can take it as a tentative recommendation. It's time to burn.